If Mike shows his face tonight at the dance, I'm totally gonna get the guys to beat him up. I'm sure that won't be necessary. Oh god. Mike? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Melissa's waiting for us. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't you think that was kind of rude? Um, I guess. I mean, it was my fault. I wasn't looking. Like, he was clearly walking towards us. He could have, like, totally seen us walking there. He should have got, like, out of the way. Like, what the hell? began tonight I saw you and the world went away Tonight, tonight There's only you tonight What you are, what you do, what you say Today, all day I'd had the feeling a miracle would happen I know now I was right For here you are And what was just a world is a star Tonight Julie! Julie! Oh. Julie! What? Were you saying something? God, what is it with you tonight? Sorry, Vanessa. Um, we better get going. We don't want to be late. talking about with that boy what boy the one we met on the way going to the dance uh julie i think you're starting to imagine things that kid wasn't even there tonight i think you should go to bed before you start saying anything else crazier than this bed bed i couldn't go to bed my head's too light to try to set it down sleep sleep I couldn't sleep tonight, not for all the jewels in the crown. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still have begged for more. I could have spread my wings and done a thousand things I've never done. Never know what made it so exciting. Why all at once my heart took flight. I only know when he began to dance with me, I could have danced, danced, danced. Oh, 
Joey. Find a $10 balance for you. Better. Better I'm still the job? Not even close. Then what happened, Joey? Forget about it. I know. Joey probably got himself a girlfriend. So forget about it. Joey got a girlfriend. Joey got a girlfriend. I don't got a girlfriend. So what? You just fell in love with him and he on the street? Did you even talk to her? We spoke. I said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I don't tell you guys anything. You just laugh. Uh, uh, we're sorry, Joey. Tell us. What was she like? Well, she was small. Nice skin. Great hair. Wonderful eyes. Did she look like she had any money? What does that matter? What does that matter? Joey, I hate to tell you this, but you live under a bridge. No uptown girl's gonna fall for you. She's different. I can prove to her that I'm just as good as any uptown kid.
No worries. It's not the first time it's sprayed in the eyes. Here. I'm Julie, by the way. I'm Joey. So, uh, I don't see you around school. Did you, did you just move here? I don't go to school. So, you're homeschooled? No, I just don't go to school. Oh, okay, well, whatever makes you happy, I guess. So what's in the bag? Oh, it's a uh, dress for the semi-formal dance. I just got it. How many dances does your school have? Surprisingly a lot, but I'm not complaining. I love dancing. So, um, would you like to come to the dance with me? We're allowed to bring a guest. I don't know, dances really aren't my thing. Well, that's because you've never been to one. Trust me, you'll have the night of your life. When is it? Next weekend. I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. Yeah, I guess I can make time for you. Great. I'll meet you in front of the school at 8 on Saturday. Yep. Well, bye, Joey. Oh, wait. Forgot this. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Julie. Yeah? What do I wear? Oh, uh, it's a semi formal, so a nice shirt and tie, I guess. All right. See you later then. Okay. Bye. surprised when she asked for you to bring her home and meet your parents. <laughs> oh, come on, Joey. We'll help you. He makes her a little experiment. See if we can pull you off with some of those uptown kids. Yeah, I know it's a great place that sells clothes for really cheap. We can all get an extra few jobs, and with that extra money, we can buy you a nice shirt. And if you're lucky, some pants too! You're not giving me any of your money. Good, because I wasn't going to give you mine in the first place. I'll let my money pay your guys' help. I'm going to spray some of this after all. What do you say, Joey? I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me. Where the crowds will cheer when they see my face. And the voice keeps saying, This is where I'm meant to be. If I can be strong, I know every mile will be worth my while. I would go most anywhere to feel like I This is just 
flying around. Sorry, I was hungry. It's alright. I just thought you'd left for a second. Who's that? Oh crap. That's Vanessa. She can't know you're here. 
Yeah, can you sneak it the other way? His name's Joey. Do you even know where Joey lives, Julie? Well, um... He lives under a bridge. You just had a dirty hobo sleeping in your bed. Where did you even meet Joey? Well, uh... Oh my god, he's that kid that ran into you at the dance a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Knew I recognized him. So what if he lives under a bridge? What does that affect if I can be with him or not? He can't even support you! He can't buy you gifts and flowers like an uptown kid can. Maybe I don't want that. A boy like that can kill your brother. Forget that boy and find another. One of your own kind. Stick to your own kind. A boy like that will give you sorrow. You'll meet another boy tomorrow. One of your own kind. Stick to your own kind. You're wrong, Vanessa. I'll prove it to you. I'd like to see you try. Julie. Hold on. I've been trying to get hold of you for days, but you haven't responded to any of my messages. Go away, Mike. Aw, oh, come on, Julie, don't be like that. I know I've done some stupid things, but you've got to forgive me. You cheated on me, Mike. That's not something someone can easily forget. Uh, look, I know, I know that some things I've done have been stupid, but I've always been crazy about you. I saw you talking to another kid back there. He's more of your type, isn't he? Mike? That guy's a jerk, Joey. You don't understand, Julie. We're from two opposite ends of the social structure. You have a nice house, you have friends, an education. I live under a bridge. What is it with everyone? Don't you understand that I don't care about any of that? But you should. I can't give you anything that other kid could. I'll see you around, Julie. Joey? Joey? Joey! Are you serious? Trust me, Julie. It's better this way. I need Joey. Okay, fine. Hey Joey, get over here. Julie? How in the world do you two know each other? Can we please just have some privacy? Whatever you have to say to Joey, you can say it in front of us. Okay, jeez. Fine, we'll just be by with this tree over here. What are you doing here, Julie? I came to see you. Listen, I'm really sorry about what I said a few months ago. I thought I was doing the smart thing, but all I've been doing is thinking about you. I miss you too, Joey. Who do you suppose is a girl? I don't know. Maybe this be his girlfriend. I thought he broke it off with her a few months ago. 
maybe a new one? How does he get so many uptown girls? Man, this stinks. So do you. Not us, Tony. Them. Him. Her. Alone. What's wrong with that, Danny? I can see what's happening. This will be just like last time. What? Joey spent all his money on that girl. Oh. They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our tree will be down to two. Again? The sweet caresses of twilight. Magic's everywhere. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disasters in the air. Here's a calm surrender to the rush of day. When the heat of a rolling wind can be turned away, an enchanted moment, and it sees me through. It's enough for this restless warrior just to be with you. Doctors say so. Julie, I promise. I'll get a real job, and I'll support you, and I'll... Don't you think you've caused enough trouble around here already? Mike, what? Were you following us? I saw you walking down towards the bridge. I wondered why you were going down there. Sleeping with a stinking hobo is pretty low, isn't it, Julie? Who are you calling a stinking hobo? Well, you're the one that smells out of the three of us. <laughs> my girlfriend first. 